Hey guys, this is Jen Frost with Faith and Fabric. I wanted to do something a little different with you guys today. I thought today we can take a look at our Lent quilt pattern here. That's the one that I've got right here. Um, this quilt was made in some really beautiful tones of reds and oranges. Um, I'll actually put a little, a little photo over here so you can see it. Uh, and what's nice about those reds and yellows in oranges is it really makes that effect of a sunset. But I thought today we can take a look at different colorways and different ways that you can use fabrics to achieve a completely different effect with this quilt. Now the quilt itself is made up of 17 different fabrics. Um, you'll find those in the pattern. I think it's on page four. You don't use many of each fabric though. Um, the most you're actually gonna need of a fabric is um, about a half of a yard. That's not, that's not very much at all. And you'll even have some leftovers from that that you can put on the back. I, I love those scrappy backs. Actually, here's, here's a little photo of how the back of this quilt turned out. That's just all those leftover pieces. So what I wanna do today is kind of look at the quilt, um, what it would look like if we used a couple different colorways. So of those 17 fabrics, uh, six of them are gonna be your browns and the blacks. And those are the ones that are on that hillside of the quilt um, on Golgotha. So we're not gonna really change those too much. We're not gonna change the browns and the cross. We're gonna leave those consistent. What I wanna play with you guys today with is that sky. I wanna look at different colors and how you completely can change the look and feel of the sky based on the colors you have, okay? So basic math, if we have 17 different fabrics and we take away the six that are for the sky and the crosses, that leaves us with 11, um, 11 fabrics we can play with. So uh, you're gonna see less of me today. We're gonna be looking more at fabrics on the table just by playing around with that a bit. But we're gonna be looking first at doing this in um, a green colorway. So here's a little photo of the quilt if you did it in green. Now, what I like about it in green here is this is great for um, if, you, if you celebrate a liturgical year, this is great for ordinary time. You can put this up during uh, as a banner, you can put it up in your home. Um, this has a very nature feel, a very natural outdoorsman feel. Uh, this would be great in the log cabin, you know, just kind of a little woodsy feel to it. Now in this one, this is really playing up a lot of the yellows and the greens. So let's head over to the fabric table here and I'm gonna show you what that would look like if we just play around a little bit with some of the fabrics. So here's an example of some of the fabrics that I pulled if I wanted to change the background to be much more of a blue-green um, ordinary time feel or more of a nature feel. Now you'll see you do wanna always start with some of those lighter tones. Um, I, I roughly put these in, in a, graded, a graded tone here, a graded order. But I've started here with some, let's take a look at these. These are some very nice light blues and light greens. And I've used purposely um, those tones that play well with each other. So this is like a, a, a light blue, but it has hues of green. Here's a green that has a little bit of that blue hue. That's then gonna kind of lead into the next shading group, right about in here, where you've got a little bit more of the blues and greens that are just that next tone down. And then that'll lead further into your darker blues and greens here, you know, almost finishing with this blue green here that's very close to a black tone. So this is one color path that you can go in creating this quilt. This would just be beautiful as the background. I wanna show you how you can very easily trade in some colors and completely change the feel here. So say we still wanted to do, um, we wanted to do still like maybe like a blue green feel, but we wanted to add like bursts of yellow to it. So I've pulled some fabrics here. So let's just swap some of these out. Again, this is that, that core group of, um, you know, roughly 17 fabrics that I've got in here. You know, obviously you'd have to pick and choose because you only need 11 of them. But let's just, let's swap a couple out and see. So I'm gonna pull, um, we'll pull this mint green out. We'll pop a yellow in here. Let's put yellow here. We'll put a yellow up front. Um, let's see here, that's still a little too dark. Let's put yellow back in here to get rid of one of these guys. Here's a yellow green back here instead of a blue. And then here's another yellow we'll slide in. So you can see now we still have that blue green feel, but now with that yellow in here, it has a much different feel to the way that this quilt is gonna end up and the way it's gonna be created. And again, you're, you're still working with those same tones. What's nice too about putting that yellow in is we're now gonna have a lot more pop you'll see the contrast between these two fabrics, between these two fabrics is going to show up a lot more. 
Now you'll see, I'm gonna pop a little image over here on the left for you. The more you have a contrast in those shapes, the more you're gonna see a difference. Now there's there are quite a few um, half square triangles in here, and those half square triangles, the closer they are in tones, and we'll come back here and compare, if you have, for example, these two fabrics together, you can see there's not a lot of difference in color. The tonality is not very different. Whereas if you had these two fabrics playing off each other, you can see there's a huge difference in tonality. You're gonna to get a much more vibrant shape. You're gonna really see the differences as you make your quilt. So those are things you're gonna to have to think about. Do you want like kind of a gradual fade in the sky or do you really want it more broken up? The next example we're gonna look at is a quilt done all in pinks and purples, like you can see here. Now this would be a great one to do for Easter. You really have that Easter joy coming through this. And so this would be a really beautiful quilt to put up, you know, come Easter weekend and then just keep it up throughout the Easter season. Let's take a look at some fabrics. So let's play with the pinks and purples now. So here's just a rough layout of if we were to do that same quilt in pink and purple tones that we just looked at. So again, you'll see I've started with kind of the lighter colors on one side and we've made our way all the way to the darker shades to kind of get that radiating effect. And there's a nice mix of color. Now you'll see I've laid these out. So if this was the order we pieced our fabrics, again, that tonality would really create a beautiful, uh, clean shape design. You would really see the shapes. Now we can say, go through this and say, you know, I don't want as much purple. Purple is kind of more of a color of Lent. I want more Easter. So we're gonna mix in some pinks this time. So here's just pink for Easter. So let's start swapping some of those out. So we'll pull this purple out here. Here's a nice light pink. Um, here's a medium purple. We'll pull that out. We'll put in a, two medium pinks here. And then we can pull some of these darker purples out and we can throw some pinks in towards the bottom and remove that purple here. So now you'll see with just a couple swaps, We've still kept that same graded color going from the lightest pink, which is going to radiate by the cross, all the way to the darkest pink, much more of an Eastery color and feel here. The last example we're going to look at is if we did this quilt all in blues and grays. Now this would just be perfect all year long. You know, sky is blue, so this would be a real timeless design that you can do all in shades of blue and gray. And what the gray is gonna do, as we'll talk about in a minute here, it's gonna kind of make a little bit more somber of a feel to this piece. Let's go take a look. So here's our blue fabrics that we're gonna look at. Again, just like the previous two examples, we have them laid out from um, lightest tones all the way to our darker tones. Again, there's a lot of contrast here. You'll see what I've done is mixing different shapes, different sizes of prints, different tones in the prints is going to really make those shapes stand out. And blue would be nice just for an all year design. You know, you kind of have the crosses against a radiating blue sky. But say blue is a little too cheery for you. You don't want to have that happy of a feel. We're going to play around with this now and we're going to mix in some gray tones. You know, gray kind of has a little bit more of that somber feel. So let's start swapping them out and see the effect that that takes. So we'll, we'll put a gray here. Um, we'll pull out this blue, put gray there. We'll pick out a middle tone blue. This is a very cheery blue. We'll add a little bit of more somber gray there. And then we'll pull out these two at the bottom and we'll pop in a little bit darker of gray tones. There you go. So now you can see this definitely would make a sky that has that more somber, more, more serious feel. You know, you don't have that, that lighter, brighter blue. You've really got the gray radiating through. Now, the nice thing about mixing again the grays with the blues is you're going to get a lot more of that um, very clear, distinct lines within your quilt. You're going to really see those shapes that are going to show up very clearly. For example, here, um, you know, your half square triangles are very clearly going to see. You can see how that is going to just, just pop in your quilt. Now, if that's what you're going for, this would be a great color combo. If you want less of a color pop when you're putting your shapes together, you're going to want to put this, them together where the tones are much more similar. Again, here, if we folded these two together, you can see you really don't see that shape as much. That's gonna make a more even flow of your quilt. And there you go. So there's three different ways that just by mixing up some of your fabrics, you can see it's really going to change the look and feel of your quilt. Uh, going through those different, um, through the different colorways really shows how you can take the same quilt and just completely change the feel of it based on the colors you're choosing, whether you want something that's kind of more evergreen with the greens, something that's more realistic with the blues and the grays, or something that just 
you know, screams Easter with those pinks and purples coming through. I look forward to hearing in the comments which one you would choose. Uh, would you would you make the blue? Would you make the green? Would you go for a pink and purple? Would you do something completely different? Let me know what your thoughts are and I definitely look forward to seeing your quilts. Thank you for joining me today and we'll see you for the next video. Take care.